Hello and welcome to Not Internet Comment Etiquette. This is the only show that teaches you what it looks like when a boy goes out and drinks a bunch of wine and gets a haircut. Now, uh, this short film has been in production for about two years now, or you can tell by the length of my hair just about how long it's been, but I thought it might be prudent to go back and take a look at how we got here in the first place. Roll that clip. Oh, I don't have a person for that. I gotta do it. In December of 2015, I posted this comment etiquette lesson about crowdfunding, where I revealed I wanted free money to make a short film about drinking wine and getting a haircut. I could use a haircut and some more wine. So that's what I'm gonna do. But I can't just start a Kickstarter for a haircut and wine. I have to make it, you know, a, a tangible item. So let's just say I'm making a short film named Eric Drinks Wine and Gets a Haircut. And people gave me some free ass money. It was awesome. Well, except for the rocket ship shirts, I actually had to spend money on getting all those out. However, if you look at the backer rewards, someone actually put down $600 to choose my eventual haircut. Oh shit, wait, what time? Oh my god, I gotta go. Alright, come on, let's go get this fucking haircut! My haircut today will be done by the fine folks at Heroin Salon. Well, hey guys, welcome to Eric Drinks Wine and Gets a Haircut. This is Jenna, she's gonna help me out, Jenna. Hi. And uh, today we're gonna get a really fantastic haircut, so let's see what it looks like. Well, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it's gonna be a good day. What uh, kind of haircut are you looking to get? Just the usual? Yeah, give me the usual. You know me. All right, here we go. I can already feel 10 degrees colder. There you go. Well, there it is, guys. That was the haircut. That's it. It's all done. There's a lot of people out there who never thought this day would come. Well, they were wrong. Yeah. Well, they gave me money, so I guess they... They were like, if you don't do it, we're going to sue you. They're yeah. You know, there probably was cause for a class action lawsuit. <laughs> but then again, uh, I think most Kickstarters are. Holy shit. There's a small animal here. That is <laughs> unbelievable. Can I pick this up and show it to the camera? I can't even get it all in my hand. <laughs> Alright guys, well... It's so cute! This is... Let's save this, because I could probably sell that for some money. <laughs> Alright, well little kids stay right there. Yeah. Let's... let's uh, I'm gonna get that in a doggy bag on the way out. Oh wait, just oh, leave that. Yeah, thank you. Okay. That's that's we're for gonna, Twitter. We're gonna save that. <laughs> <laughs> she almost got that my fucking scary. hair. <laughs> <laughs> so I just took a picture of uh, the pile of hair and tweeted it out. Everybody's replying that they still don't believe it. Now this tin foil is that to keep the globalists out of my head? The what? The globalists. Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. This is my favorite part of every haircut. The tin foil and odd liquid. <laughs> this is bleach. This is bleach. There's bleach going in my hair. Okay. That's a first. I look fucking great. Well, this is the haircut, guys. Thanks for watching. I think I can get away with doing that gag like two more times. I lost Jenna. I lost her. She didn't like that joke. <clears throat> Get away with that, too. Hey, uh, long hair Eric, why don't you answer some tweets or something? I'm kind of busy here. Oh, thanks, Eric. Now, while Eric drinks wine and gets a haircut, let's check in on Twitter and see if anybody's got some interesting questions for me. At Commenticut, where's the movie, Beefcake? Oh, I got a response to this. <laughs> At Commenticut, BBTV would like to discuss an opportunity for your YouTube channel. Do you have an email where we can keep in touch? Yeah, I got a response to this shit. Hit me up at nude celebs for free at gmail.com for all the best free nude celebs. Like Harry Belafonte's Harry Bella Ballsack. We got the footage, baby. Ooh, that's a tweet! At Commenticut, hook me up with a yearbook quote. Anything you'll say, I will put as a yeek book quote. I never thought they'd find out what I did to the frogs. Barack Obama. Ooh, girl, and tweet! Uh, back to you, haircut Eric. Hey, guys. Can, guess? Can you guess what the haircut is yet? Ten points if you do. You, you can't. There's no way. You know, I'm really tempted to touch this, but then I keep reminding myself that it's bleach. And even then, it's really not deterring me that much. I wonder what it tastes like. All right. Oh, yeah. Interested to see where this goes. 
Guess we'll see. Meantime, I got my fucking wine. Hello. I come from the Swiss land to find the chocolate jobs in America. I still had tinfoil in there? Yeah, just for Oh, okay. Whoa, here we go. Look at you. Oh, beautiful. Everybody following along at home? Can you guess what it is yet? No. Not a chance. Can you guess what this is? Oh! <laughs> Wait a second, she knew? Oh well, I'm, I'm still bleeping out what she said. Spoiler. I'm sorry, God. Back to me now, unhealthy Eric here. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone at home. Thank you for giving me some of the best years of my life. Now, I don't know what this new Eric's going to be like, but I hope he cares about you just as much as I did. And if he doesn't, you let him know. Um, I guess with that, there's not much else to say other than I, I might have a tweet to Ted Cruz. Yeah, I definitely have a tweet to Ted Cruz. Hang on. At Ted Cruz, how many dicks can you fit in your butt before it counts as a company dinner? And... Yep. Yep. This was a good idea for a Kickstarter. It was a good idea. <sighs> Getting nice and fucked up. All right, guys. Uh, haircut's done. Can you guess what it is yet? Why don't we give you another look? Check this out. And now you know what it is. Jenna, how many people do you think have walked to the front entrance of this place, looked in, seen this, and just turned around and left? A couple. A couple. I saw a couple. I saw a couple, too. They're like, oh, what's this place? Oh, okay. Oh, this place looks like it does a good... Ugh. Mm. This is one of those pineapple establishments. Oh, well, this is probably the best enjoyable haircut I've ever done. This is certainly the most interesting thing that's ever happened to, to me, just in general. Yeah. yeah, let's get one last look for the camera here. Read it and weep, motherfuckers. I'm a fucking pineapple. Thanks for the Kickstarter money. It's a fucking shame my grandmother's funeral's tomorrow. I'm gonna have to wear a hat. Oh, it's a pineapple world. And I'm... Um, a pineapple girl. I had the haircut, born anew under the flames of bleach and dye, but only from the forehead up. To deal with the rest of me, I decided to consult a professional. Hey guys, it's Pineapple Eric. I'm here at the gym. I got a personal trainer. This is Garrett. Say hi, Garrett. How you doing? Hey, Garrett's going to show me some cool stuff, some workouts, some stuff like that, because, you know, I'm a soft little pineapple boy right now, but I want to be a hard little crisp Pratt and apple. We're going to get it going. So what are we going to do today? Ah, uh, gonna go through some basic movements, some uh, kettlebell swings, some squats, some curls, and maybe throw you, show you how to throw a punch. That's perfect because I want to hurt some people. First of all, uh, we we're sticking with those jeans. Uh, yeah, I don't have much under those. Let me ask you something: If someone gave you three thousand dollars, would you get this haircut? No. Aesthetic. Awful. Then we're gonna do a squat. All right. That's. Hmm? Yeah. No. It's working. Tell me how you feel. Um. You know, I feel. I feel a lot stronger than I did waking up. I certainly feel a lot more loved. I feel kind of pretty too. I'm surrounded by you know, muscle-bound freaks just thinking like one day it's gonna be me let's put that down okay yeah no nah, I'm good fuck you Mark 
dice. Not your pineapple whore. Okay, so uh, we thought we'd try something easier with Eric. Um, and it turns out this is the hardest thing he's done all day. No, that's not true. Waking up was pretty hard. <sighs> well, this is our uh, end of workout diagnosis, and Eric did worse than I had planned. I threw up. Clean it up! Pineapple! All right, well, that's it, motherfuckers. I'm a beefed up pineapple now. I got my hair cut, I drank the wine, I went to the gym, I'm gonna get the body. What do you want? You want a round pineapple or you want a little skinny little fucking twink pineapple, huh? You tell me, asshole. I know karate now. And if you think we're not gonna turn this into a t shirt, you're out of your fucking pineapple. Wait, what day is today? Wednesday? Oh my god. It's supposed to be a VidCon. I'll go tomorrow. Yo, special thanks to Jenna Locke for the haircut. Links in the description to her Instagram. Big thanks to Heroin Salon for hosting the haircut. Check them out at heroinsalon.com. Also, big thanks to Garrett Matheson for taking me under his pineapple wing. Thanks to my boy Radar. Thanks to God. And never give up on your dreams, people. This shit's forever. Oh, yo, yo, and to everybody who put money towards the Kickstarter, everybody who helped finance the campaign, everybody who got this short film made, I love you, thank you, God bless you, we out. Until the sequel.